into the battle, people, you need to make sure you've got enough energy to watch this. And what do I mean by that? Get yourself some G Fuel using code SALT for 30% off. My favorite flavors are dragon fruit and peach iced tea. There's a bunch of other flavors you want to try. You can get starter kits, you can get tubs, a whole bunch of different ranges there for your energy and caffeine needs or non-caffeine needs. Link in the description of the video, people. Come and check out G Fuel with code SALT. If you miss the salt, it's not my fault. What's up, YouTube? Five days video with a full one hit KO boost Pokemon team. Three years ago, I did this amazing team and I thought, you know what? It's time to bring it back for a very, very special day. Today is my birthday. I'm going to be giving you three awesome battles with their one hit KO moves Pokemon team. And I really hope you enjoy. The first battle here was against uh, the King question mark on the White Cobb. And we got a very, very uh, legitimate Pokemon to start off with them. Now, my team consists of six troll Pokemon with six troll sets. Now, my first Pokemon here, Articuno, uh, nicknamed Exposed. We've got Sheer Cold, Mind Reader, Substitute, and Hail. I've got a Hail, Snow Cloak, Bright Powder, Articuno. It is pure, pure scum. So what you want to do, right, you want to make that Salt Fall, I mean the Hail Fall, and then you want to set the Substitute up, right? Then what you can do is you can go for Mind Reader. Now, once you use the move Mind Reader, you read the opponent's mind, and then you land a one-hit KO move on the next turn, guaranteed. So we've got a Mel Metal coming in. This is actually a very, very good swap in for my set. As you know, a Mel Metal's got a very powerful stab move, Double Iron Bash, and that could actually bash away my substitute and probably take me out the next turn right. I am running max health and max speed EVs on my Articuno, so I'm going bulky, but I'm going fast, right? So we're going to go for substitute here. I'm taking a very, very big risk here. Hopefully, uh, the move will miss, and it does. First go. Oh, that was lucky. What I could do right now is I can either go, just go for Sheer Cold or take a risk and then go for the Mind Reader. Now, Mind Reader, obviously, you need to wait one more turn to use your move, so it is a little bit risky in that way. Normally, it's best to trap your opponent. So go for the Mind Reader there, and I'm going to read Mel Metal's mind. It's, it's dreaming about nuts and bolts. So here comes a double line Bash. It's missed again. This is content. So what I can do right now, I can go for a Sheer Cold. Now, let's say my opponent swap. They may swap here, but I'll get a chance at least firing off a Sheer Cult against one of the incoming Pokemon. They did not swap. They really want to get rid of my substitute, and they are going to get frozen into a big old nut. A big frozen nut. I'm sorry about that, people. I'm trying to keep a PG. Now, the next Pokemon to come in here is going to be 6, <laughs> six IV, and it's a Zacian. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so obviously Zachary is AC on. It's going to outspeed uh, Articuna, right? It's going to be going for a Behemoth Blade. Now, I thought here... I might get a miss this turn, so let's go for Mind Ritter. Then I'll go for the Sheer Cold afterwards, right? Unfortunately, I did not get a miss from Behemoth Blade. That would have been amazing because Dacel would have had to get rid of my sub the next turn, and then I could have taken it out too. So Articuno nearly took out two Pokemon there. It was very, very close. Now, in my mind, right, I was thinking over, how am I going to get rid of Dacel, right? I mean, I've got a couple of Pokemon that swap in, but... This thing is very, very scary, right? Super, super profit. So bye-bye, Articuna. You did a fine job there. Took out the Mel Metal. Scared off the naughty Raggy Draco. And uh, we got destroyed by Zayso. But it's okay. Next Pokemon to come in here is going to be my Mold Breaker Excadrill, right? This is made to get around abilities like Sturdy, right? That's why I call it a high Sturdy. So this consists of Fissure, Horn Drill, Attract, and Swagger. I was going to go for Swagger, but in the end, I decided to go for the Fish Ride. I've got the Focus Sash on the item for this one, just in case I do get hit really hard. Fissure is going to land first turn on the Zacian. You wouldn't read about it, and that is going to go down. Give me a nice, beautiful hit KO there on the Zacian. So I've taken two Pokemon out now. Now we've got uh, the third one being the Calyrex. This was this was re this was pure. I can't, I can't wait to tell you what happened here. So we got the um, um uh, the definitely legit Calyrex coming here. Uh, it's gonna have 50 abilities popping up on the screen. I'm gonna swap out my extra right because I'm a little bit scared that I might need it. I just had something back looking in the team preview. Right? So I went to Crawdon. They went for an expanding dong. I mean force, and it landed on my Crawdon. And you're probably wondering how that's possible because I've got a ring target on this one. This was actually meant to be used to swap into ghost types, right? You go switch switcheroo, switch the items around stuff, right? That's what you do when you switch items and stuff. So, what happens, 
right is you give the ring target to the Calyrex, so then you can land normal type moves like Guillotine. I got a Focus Sash, I got rid of the Calyrex with Focus Sash, and Calyrex is setting up nasty plots so like you wouldn't read about it, right? The problem about this is if I miss with Guillotine, and I did the first go. Now the Calyrex is got it, that's nasty plot number two. This thing has got so much speed and special attack now. I'm pretty much thinking, well, I'm going to lose here, right? The guillotine lands, and it clamps up Calyrex, and Calyrex doesn't have a focus sash anymore because I stole it early on. You can't make this up. Calyrex is down there. We've got three Pokemon down, and we've got three to go. Now, I thought that maybe the Reggie Drago or something's going to come in there that's going to Dynamax, and uh, we got the Reggie Rock. Remember I was talking about Team Preview, how I was worried about a Pokemon with Sturdy? This was the one. So there's really only one Pokemon that can actually do something here, and that is going to be my x drill that's only got one health left. I have to land my move 100% this turn. If I don't land it, I'm done, right? I'm going to get swept by this kid. So we're going to bring in High Sturdy again. It's actually quite funny because it is a sturdy Pokemon. Horn Drill lands right off the Ripper, and Reggie Rock is going to crumble down into... A smaller bunch of rocks. So bye bye Reggie Rock. I've got two more Pokemon left there. Man, I've still got four, like four Pokemon in the back. So in comes uh, the totally legit Reggie Draco. And now what they're going to do? They're going to hit the Desperation Dynamax button. That's okay though. I had a feeling they may do that, so I actually went for a different move than Horn Drill or Fissure. I went for Swag, so I thought if they do go into Dynamax, you never know. I might be able to stall like one turn or two turns out if the Pokemon does hit itself, right? And it sort of all depends what this set is going to be, too. So going for that Swagger on the Reggie Drago, it's going to slide on by. Don't ask me how. Look at the size of that thing. And now it's going to go for a Max Knuckle. So it's running a physical set, which is bad, right? So I'm going to probably assume it's running something. I'm trying to think what physical move I have. Probably uh, Hammer Arm, I'd say, or maybe Brick Ray. Probably Hammer Arm, and I'd say I have Dragon Claw. Dragon Dead, that, that, that sort of set, right? So going to my Troll Press here, more on Troll Press a little bit later, swapping out, giving that bait out there, and going into Fracture, right? Now, this is a bulky Everlighted set. I was hoping I could withstand this attack, and they didn't go for a Dragon type move. They went for another Max Knuckles, so that's good right here. I'm running a Max Elf, Max Special Defense Everlight set. This is a Rest, Sleep, Talk, Harden Guillotine set. That's why I, I called it hard to beat, you know what I mean? So Harden's, you don't have to worry about Harden. It's got 30 PP without even a PP up, right? What I was thinking, I could go for a rest here and then go for a sleep talk and get the guillotine off. And Reggie Drago isn't exactly the fastest Pokemon in the world, right? Now, I'm going to be taking a little snooze here in front of the Reggie Drago, which is great. Now, I was a little bit worried that it may go for a Dragon type move, and unfortunately it does. It goes for Max Wormin. I was hoping they'd go for a Max Knuckle and uh, stall out another turn of the Dynamax. Unfortunately, Little Fracture is going to get... Well, it's going to get fractured, all right? It got one shot, and now I've got two more Pokemon. We've got Troll Press and one other Pokemon. I, I know you can't guess the last Pokemon. This is content big. So the next uh, move strategy we got is my Lapras. This is the Blunder Policy Sing Max Speed, Max Health Lapras with Fissure Shield and Horn Drill. So I thought, well, let, worst comes to worst here. I miss with Sing, I get a plus two, right? I hope I can actually land it though. So Sing does land with a 55% accuracy. It's shaky, right? It's real shaky, but it lands. So that's very, very good. Now what I want to do, right, is I want to spam Sheer Cold, like any of my moves, Sheer Cold, Horn Drill, any of them, right? So go for Sheer Cold, unfortunately it's going to miss a Reggie Dragon. Reggie Drago's eyes are still closed. I know you can't tell, but they're closed, right? Sheer Cold is going to land the second type, and Reggie Drago is down. That was very, very scary, right? Because that had so many boosts, man. They've got one more Pokemon left. I've got two Pokemon left. This is this is content. Next Pokemon is ground. No, no, no effort. You can't, you can't make this up. No effort. Co. Oh man. Oh, what, what, what's wrong with these kids? So anyway, right. We've got this Lapras with the Sing and Blunder Pulse. Right. Sing is gonna miss, but I got a plus two. Then ground on uses Fisher, mate. It's got Fisher as well. So Sing is gonna land this time on the ground. Thank goodness, right? Because. I don't want to deal with like a fissure grounder, right? I was thinking like preset blaze or something like that, right? So grounder's closed its eyes, but it's got a berry to wake it up, and that is going to be a lumbre. What? So it woke up from the sink, and then fissure landed on my lapras. You wouldn't read about it. All I've got left now is my ponta, but I was starting to come up with the most galaxy brain plan in the world, right? Now, this ponta is a little bit different from normal. I've got horn drill, don't worry about that. However, I've adjusted the set a bit. We've got horn drill, protect, hypnosis, and mimic. 
You know that I can't help myself. You know that I can't. So go for the mimic on the Groudon. I'm going to mimic Groudon's Fissure, right? And Fissure misses my Pokemon. I've got the Focus Sash as the item. So what I'm going to do is go for Protect. I want to see if it's got any other moves, right? Now, Groudon's got to spam Fissure again. I was like, okay, maybe is it only got Fissure or they just go for Fissure because I've been kicking their ass with one hit KO moves the whole game. Now they're going to pop a substitute. Oh, no. This is... This could be game. I was like, oh man, I'm done because I'm going to have to break the sub tube before I can do any damage, right? Go for horn drill. It's going to miss the sub tube. Now Groudon is going to land the Fisher, and I'm down to my focus ash here. Things are not looking good at all. I was hoping maybe I could get really, really lucky here and I'd have to land like, I don't know, like two hits really quick. So landing the horn drill there, it's not going to take the Groudon. It is going to get rid of that annoying sub, right? Now, did the Groudon go for an attacking move or did it go for Fissure again? It went for Fissure again. I think Fissure is its only attack. My Fissure lands a turn after and they DC. You can't make this up, people. That is the Pogita Mimic Horn Drill Disrespect right there and a big, nice, juicy, fat baby bottle filled with a nice pile of salt there. The game actually kept going after they baby bottled two, and uh, the ground off faded. So there you go, people. There is the first battle on the one hit KO team. The Mimic Pose, uh, the true MVP. I've got a little special treat for you, people. This is going to be a multi-battle. Haven't done one for ages. This is a one hit KO team multi-battle. So what we all did, right, is we all brought one hit KO strategy along. This is a battle with myself, Joba King, our uh, versus Cop My Cert and Foxfire. Now, we got a Slow King with a Quick Claw, not so slow, baby. And it's going to be attacking me with an Attract. So it's trying to try and, like, look at those big pincers. Who wouldn't be attracted to those big pincers, right? This is a Troll set, right, as you know. I wanted to trick the Mimiku, a ring target, so I could land a Guillotina, right? Like, you, watch, you can't make this up, right? Watch this. Mimiku gave me a ring target, and then it gave a ring target back to the Mimiku. So there's two ring targets on the field. Then I went for a switcheroo, so I gave the ring target. We're playing, like, musical chairs with this ring target. Like, I, you can't make this up, people. I got trolled so hard right there. Now we got the Ponytail going for a, 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 a Ponytail. A Ponytail going for a Ponytail. Going for an Agility, and it's going to be really, really fast, right? Now, the thing about Dynamax, right? We all agreed on not the Dynamax because we only want to use one Hikayu moves right there. So, Slow King, it's going to meet its timely demise, and it's going to be giving us the first KO there. Thank you, Ponytail, for that nice little horn drill. Now, this Mimiku was a troll, right? What it did is it went for a trick. So it tricked away that ring target. Now I gave it to the pointer and it got a sash and my guillotine's not going to work against it anymore. Oh, man. Like, this is the, I'm getting trolled so hard. Next Pokemon is, is it's a shiny pointer and i got to land a guillotine against this ASA, right? So I'm going to be uh, Dynamax here for the 69th time. What I can do, right, is hopefully we can land a Dynamax, maybe, uh, you know, not a Dynamax, a Horn Drill or a guillotine. Here comes a copycat from the Mimiku. It's going to copy the last move that you used, and that's Horn Drill. And it's going to Horn Drill my Crawdon. Oh, man, you wouldn't believe it. So Crawdon, no, no, okay. Basically, Crawdon got its item stolen, and then they got one hit KO. Man, Mimiku could at least take him out to dinner before it did that, right? So we got the uh, extra drill coming in here with the Focus Sash. I got to get around that disguise, right? That disguise is a big thing. Now, Ally Swap is going to fail there. We got the Ponytail going for Horn Drill, and the opposing Ponytail is going to have a Focus Sash. So the only cool thing about this, right, is I uh, actually got a Horn Drill and a Flame Body, which essentially burn the opposing Ponytail. So... At that point, I could go down to a burn of veggie. So Mimiku is finally going to go down there. And then it had a focus sash I forgot about. I was like, oh! Like, even just when I think oh, I got this Mimiku right, it trolls me again. And then it used Spite. I'm like, what? So Spite is actually going to get rid of the PP of the one Hikayo moves, right? Now, we did have strategies based around the one Hikayo moves. But essentially, we wanted the the damage dealt by only one hit KO moves, right? So we didn't have stuff like Destiny Bond and Perisong, things like that, right? Uh, so we got the uh, Mimiku going for a Grudge here. Grudge is a very, very mean move there. Say if you landed a move against that Mimiku, then it would have wiped all the PP of that one move. So I was very, very lucky that I couldn't really do too much of a run. Now, we got the uh, Horn Drills, both of them missing, both Horn Drills, and we got the Fear Jump missing on the Mimiku, so that way it's not going to get rid of all my PP, right? Now, it's going to be going for a Copycat, doing a little Somersault there, and it's going to go for a Fissure. Fissure is going to land on the Ponyta. This Mimiku is carrying the other team, like, seriously, like, this is, it's like, basically it's like 1v2 at the moment. So, the next Pokemon to come in is Fissure, right? I was wondering what Salty Blades would be doing, right? So I can Dynamax it for the 69th time again there. And what's going to go on right is going to be Horn Drill missing the first turn. 
Then we got the Fissure landing on the Mimiku on one hill. Finally, finally I took it out. I was, I was, I was somehow expecting that Mimiku not to faint. It. Like have a focus sash and a focus ban, right? On your Pimno Shell. So go for the Atorment on the Ponytail. That's actually quite a good move. That's going to force a Ponytail to use, uh, not use the same move twice in a row. So say if we went for Horn Drill, next turn it'd have to use something like, I don't know, like uh, Morning Scum or something. So it's going to be using Endure. That's a very good move to run up because that means if it does get hit, it won't faint right. And it also is like a little opportunity for it to get the Flame Body too. Lapras is going to come in there, use the Sing, it's going to miss there. And uh, Big Sharp's going to go for a Laser Focus. Now you got to make sure that you're, uh, when you land a one hit, how you move, you, you, you get a critical hit run. Right? So what's going to happen here, Ponytail's going to fire that Horn Drop. Horn Drop's going to miss from me. And we got, I think we had nearly all the moves missing. Lapras is finally going to land its Sing. So that Lapras set was, I think it was almost like mine, but it looks like it didn't have a uh, blunder policy as the item right there. So our uh, Salty Blades is going to be fast asleep at the moment. And it's it's only one hit kind of move. I can think of it's going to be Guillotine, right? Now, Pogta is going to be going for a uh, Endure this turn. It's going to be enduring all the hits in the world. And Horn Drill is going to fly on by. So it didn't really matter. Uh, the Sheer Cold is going to come from Lapras. That's also going to be. So this part, there was a lot of misses there. Like, there was a lot of misses going back and forth. I think we essentially had two turns of nearly three to four misses on all the Pokemon. Now, Horn Drill is going to land this time. And my X Drill is going to go down to one health there. So I've got my Sash. Thank goodness I've got my Sash. That would have been bad. Like, really, really bad, right? So Lapras is going to be going for a Sheer Cold here. That is going to land. And my extra got like, it got like tag team there. Like, Pogta hit it. And then the Lapras said, it. man, like, Bishop was just standing there, like, just looking at its partner, like, what's going on? So we got the uh, scary face from the Bishop. That's not a bad move. That's going to slow the Lapras down because we all know how fast Lapras is at the Pokemon, right? Next Pokemon to bring it in is going to be my Pogta. I thought it's time. It's time. Who's the best Pogta? It's time to prove it, right? So uh, we got a couple of Dynamaxes on the other side of the field. The Pogta is going to be going for Endure. So I went for a Cop... No, I went for a Protect because I wanted to copy... Like the last battle, I want to copy another one here KO move, right? So Salty Blades is going to land that guillotine. Guillotine looks so awesome. And Lapras is going to be going down. That's very, very good. So then I'm thinking, wait, I can mimic my partner's move, right? I can mimic that uh, guillotine. Then I can have a guillotine pointer. That'd be amazing, right? This is giving me some good ideas for like a Pokemon sweep too. I'm not going to reveal it, but it's giving me a good idea. So go for the mimic on the uh, on the Bishop, uh, copying that guillotine there. So Ponta is essentially at it's got Horn Drill already. It's at uh, Horn Drill, it's at Guillotine, and it's at Fisher, which is amazing. So we're going to have a couple of attacks missing there all round and all the opponents. And Ponta is going to keep going for the endure over and over again. It's not a bad strategy. I think it may have nearly almost run out of Horn Drills too. For some reason the I don't know, the Ponta always seems to like use all of its horn drills and then never die, right? So we're going to be using a Torment on the uh, Ponta Gala there. So that means it can't use the uh, horn drill over and over, which is going to be quite good for us, right? So here comes a Guillotine, and a Fortune is going to miss the Ponta. And we're going to have the Ponta using Rest. Now the opposing Ponta is going to go for a horn drill on the Bishop, and Bishop is going to be falling down there. So it's very, very close at the moment. It is, I'm trying to figure out what the score is at the moment. We've got four, sorry, two left, and they've got four left now. Actually, we're, get, we're, get, we're getting shrecked. So we, we need to come back here, right? We need to come back. Here comes the guillotine on the Ponta, and Ponta, it, well, it, it, it's dead. So we've got three, sorry, four Pokemon down now. It's a clean two all, right? Now we've got the Ponta go for agility. It's going to be getting a nice little boost in speed. Extra drill versus, extra drill Ponta versus Ponta. What's Sans? Oh, no, that's the last. I think that could be the last Pokemon. It is. It's the last Pokemon because one, I, I think Mycin has two more Pokemon left. So Sandstorm, right, is going to take out the Pointer, but Sandstorm is also going to get rid of my Focus Sash. And I wasn't very happy about that. I was like, okay, I'm going to attack my partner because they got rid of my Focus Sash, right? I'm going to go for Horn Drill on my partner. Our Pope comes to the uh, War Rain here. I'm going to Dynamax for the 169th time. Horn Drill slides by the extra. It's turned into a free for all. War Rain's gone for the Fissure. It's missed on the extra. We're both attacking the uh, extra drill at the moment. Like I'm hoping, like I'm low key hoping, like the opponent just keeps attacking the extra drill too. We've got something going on at the moment. So go for another Horn Drill here on the uh, extra. It's going to slide on by again. And unfortunately, Sheer Colt is going to miss the extra drill too. So this is my last turn here. Now, extra drill is going to go for the Home Claws. This is going to change the entire battle. Boosting its accuracy. Actually, 
Home Claws has no effect on one hit carry moves. It could have been a disrespect meme. I'm not too sure. So anyway, we're going to get hit by the Sandstone about a thousand times here. Pointer. Oh, wait. I can Dynamax for the a millionth and 69 times. Good to know, right? Pointer is going to miss for the third time on the extra. And Warrain, it's going to go for the extra. It's going to go for me. Come on, Warrain. I, I thought we had something going on, man. So all it is now, it's down to the extra versus the wall red. And Horn Drill is going to miss. This is really bad. Now, the funny thing here, right, the extra drill was meant to be, uh, it was meant to be uh, Sand Rush, but instead of, it was actually, it was Sand Force, so it got outspent by a wall ring. It's got to focus us as the item, right? And the Horn Drill, the feature, I mean, is going to land right afterwards. And that, my friends, is the multi-battle game right there. Man, that was a full-on battle there. There was disrespect. That, 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 that Mimiku, like, uh, that Mimiku is like this meanest Pokemon ever. It trolled me the whole time. I hope you enjoyed the multi-battle. If you do want to see some more multi-battles on my channel, maybe let me know in the comments section. I need a drink here. Holy crap, these battles have been full on. All right, this is a battle against uh, Robert. This one was on my Twitch. I'm going to take a nice big swig of drink. One second, people. All right. So we got a <laughs> Stunt Fisk lead out versus my Crawder. Now, Crawdon, after that battle, it's going to need some, uh, it's going to need some counseling, I was about to say. Okay, so I'm going to go for, a, I'm going to go for a switch route here. Give the, uh, the Stunfist a, a ring target, and its fish is going to miss me, so I'm very happy about that. So go for the guillotine, and Stunfist is going to land their fish, a poor Crawdon. I think, like, when you look at all these battles, I feel like Crawdon got the sh like the shortest end of the stick. Like, it, when you think about the first battle, it got a, uh, a psychic move landing on against it when it had ring target. Mimiku just destroyed it and then Stunfist hit with the fish. The, the poor Pokemon is going to go back into an egg. So we're going to swap in the Articuna here. And unfortunately for me, this Nine Tiles is going to be a great counter for it, right? Because I won't be able to use Sheer Cold on it at all because it won't affect it. But I did want to show something here. So I went for the Mind Reader and obviously I can lock on the next turn. So even if you use Mind Reader and Sheer Cult, it will not work, right? So I'm going to swap into my Troll Press here because I'm certain that it's only a Sheer Cult as it's, uh, you know, one hit your move. Now the move to use on my Lapras was not going to be a Sheer Cult. It was going to be Confused Ray. Now this is kind of bad, right? Because I could hit myself in Confusion or it could allow them to swap into another Pokemon, which is going to be the Stun Fist again. I do not want to get swept by the Stun Fist. I really, really don't. So hitting myself a Confusion there, which is bad. I was thinking maybe I could get the Sing going on this Stun Fist and then sweep the rest of the thing. So go for the Sing. They're singing slowly in Stun Fist ear. Wait, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to locate Stun Fist ears. I, I can barely locate. Is that its nose? I think it might be its nose or its mouth there. Anyway, um, the Stun Fist is sleeping, right? It's sleeping. It's sleeping the night away. So it's going to get hit there by the hail. I'm hoping I can land an attack against this. Horn Drill is going to miss the Stun Fist. I didn't even mean to ride that. Now, what I can do, I can use any of the three one-hit KO moves here. Actually, Lapras is probably one of the best Pokemon, right? Like, this seeing blunder policy strategy, like, you've got to try it out, right? You've got three one-hit KO moves, and you've got a speed boost. Now, if, if you're wondering, I gave this max health, and I gave this uh, jolly nature with the blunder policy. So, it was very, very fast, right? And it worked out very, very nicely. So, bye-bye, Stunfist. Next Pokemon, I, you know what? I, I'll be honest with you. When this Pokemon first came into the uh, the matchup here, I thought they said Ultra Sun and Moon hacked. <laughs> it said Ultra Sun and Moon hacked. It's going to go for a taunt, so I can't use my Sing strategy. Man, my, my Lapras got outplayed there, so all I can do is go for a one-hit KO move, or I can swap it out. I wanted to actually swap that out and try something else. I'm going to go into my extra with the Mole Break here. I can go for Fissure or Horn Drill, right? Here comes the Guillotine from the Haxorus. It's going to miss. I went for Horn Drill, and it's going to miss too, which is very unfortunate. Guillotine is going to land on my extra. I do have a Focus Sash, though, so it's all good right there. I can't even, like, I, I, if you get hit by a one-hit KO move, I reckon you should, like, it should bypass Focus Sash, like... It's such a powerful move. I don't know. What do you think about that? Then again, maybe that is small the fun. So we're going to go for the Horn Drill here. It's going to miss the Haxorus, and Haxorus is going to land another guillotine. You know what? It is called Hunt Ultra Sun and Moon Hack, because it is hacked. It keeps landing, all right? Not that I can speak after that uh, um, that latest video that I did landing all those uh, fishes. Next Pokemon we got here is the Fracture versus Haxure. Get what I'm saying, right? So it's going to go for a guillotine here. It's going to miss, which is very, very good. I went for guillotine, and it's going to miss, which is very, very bad. So unfortunately here, it's going to land another guillotine. I think that was uh, three out of four or something like that. And my Everlight, I wish my Everlight could have helped me out there. My, you know, Everlight, it should have it, it should have stopped that KO. Okay, it's time to go into Exposed here and expose these hackers, right? So I'm going to go for the... Um, the, the, the um, 
Not the Max Mind Salt. I nearly said the Max Mind Salt. The Mind Reader, right? And I ended up going for a sheer cold ascent because I got like upset that this thing was sweeping my team and it landed. So I was like, man, that's really, really good. I finally got rid of that Haxorus. That was almost like the Mimiku in the last battle. Like, that Mimiku is living rent free in my mind at the moment, like that uh, Blissey with uh, four protects. So in comes a Cryogon here, swapping out the Articuno, going into the Trollpus, right? Now, this is a bit of a sticky situation, if you know what I'm saying, right? This thing has got... It's an Ice Star, right? So I can't use Sheer Cold. I can't use Fissure against it, so I'm going to need to use Hornder, right? And that was where the fun started to begin here. So we've got the Cryogon swapping out, and we've got the Dark Knight coming, which is going to be the Bishop. So it's like, okay, Bishop, I can use a lot. Any of my moves against this, so that'd be quite nice, right? And I've got to go for the Sing. Sing's going to miss, which is fine there. Blunder Policy is going to activate, giving me a nice juicy plus two in speed. Now Lapras is going to be able to hopefully get through the confusion and use Sing again or a one hit go move. But I get hit in confusion. Guillotine is going to miss the Lapras, thank goodness. And now what I'm thinking, right, let's get this Sing. I could even, I could go full scumbag and put this entire team to sleep with Sing, right? But I don't want to do that. I don't know. I don't want to get the win like that. I want to win fair and square, right? I, I don't want to do that. Unless, unless I've got like, unless the opponent is like hacking or a troll, like I, I normally don't do things like that. Anyway, so the Bishop is going to be sleeping there and I'm going to go for the Fissure and it's going to miss on the Bishop. I need to get a Pokemon down. I've lost three in my team here, and they still got some scary Pokemon left. Hornedrill is going to miss here. Bishop basically just slept the whole entire time. Like, how can it sleep and just dodge all those one hit KO moves, right? So, with this went back and forth for a little bit with the one hit KO moves, and Sheer Colt is finally going to land on the Bishop, uh, taking it out there. So, I'm, I'm back in the game. I'm back in the game. Now, I'm thinking Nine Tiles, Prygon, all right. I can't do anything to the Nine Tiles unless I get like a lucky hit with a Fissure or the Horn Drill. In comes Vibrator. I've got to swap out here. Oh, sorry, Vibrava. And I'm going to go into Exposed, right? So I thought if I land like a Sheer Cold against that, that'll be fine. What's it got uh, like apart from Fissure, right? What what other one here go and move? I think it's like... Actually, no, it doesn't get any... It doesn't really matter because I landed the first go and the Vibrava is going to go down. So we've got Nine Towers and Cryogun left. But the battle's not over, people. It's just getting warmed up. So Nine Towers are going to come in there. It's going to put some snow on the field, which is fine. I've got the Snow Cloak. Now, Snow Cloak isn't going to, like, uh, with one hit KO moves, right? There's a lot of uh, uh, just little discrepancies about it. So, one hit KO moves, you can't increase the accuracy of them, right? So, you can't go, like, oh, I'll just do Home Claw six times and land a Fissure. It doesn't work like that, right? The only real way to land it, like, 100% of the time is to have, like, an ability like No Guard or using a move like Mind Reader and then using the move afterwards like that. So they can't be increased, right? And also on the other end of the scale, right? Say you've got Sheer Cold and then the opponent starts using Minimize, right? Uh, one hit KO moves aren't affected by that either. So they'll have the same chance to hit regardless if, like, say Blissey used Minimize 600 times, right? It doesn't matter. Just a little bit of information there because a lot of people seem to not know those things. So we're going to go into uh, the Lapras here and we got a, uh, a Confuse Ray from the Nine Tails. Now this Nine Tails was scary. Very, very scary. Trust me. You'll see why. So it's going to be confusing me here, right? Now it's going to go for the Aurora. Aurora is going to change this entire battle. I really think my opponent didn't have a lot to do here because it's only got Sheer Cold, and that's it. It really doesn't have anything else to do to me, right? I was desperately trying to land a Fissure. I think they were actually waiting for me to do a certain move here, right? If you think about it, think about that Krogel, right? Krogel can't get hit by Fissure, and it can't get hit by Sheer Cold. What move can it get hit by? Horn Drill, right? Just, just, just remember that. Now, the Night is going to continue to go for the Sheer Cold. Um, I'm going to be confused. I'm hoping I can land uh, like a Horn Drill. Horn Drill is going to miss there. This is where things got bad, right? Because now the Nine Tiles is going to go for Spite. I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. That's going to get rid of my Horn Drill's PP. Look, look at that. There's no PP left for the move. So now, right, Lapras cannot do a damn thing to Nine Tiles or Krogel. It, it's essentially dead weight. But when you think about it, Articuno can't do anything either because it's only got Sheer Cold. What can I do? I've only got one more Poker left. I've got to end this with my Ponyta. It's the only way. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to clean up the Nine Tails with the Fissure. That I can do. But Krogonal is going to be a complete wall for Lapras and, of course, Articuno. So I'm going to need to win here with my Ponyta. I also want to show you here, right? So uh, Krogonal is going to go for the Confusion Ray. I've kept my Lapras in here because I thought... Let's just see what moves this has before I go to swapping in my pony for the dub, right? I can't lose it, right? Because it can still use Sheer Cold against me. So I went for Vision just to show you. It's got Levitate, obviously. I can't use Horn Drill because it's got zero PP, and Sheer Cold is not going to affect it. So as you can see, I'm completely and utterly warped. 
My opponent has got Reflect, so that's what its other move is. I think this mo the, the, the move sets they got are like mine. They're designed to verse other teams, not so much uh, one-hit KO teams, right? So that is fair enough. So I'm going to put the Krogan to sleep there with the Sing. I thought maybe if I put it to sleep, I can bring the Ponytail in, and all i got to do is land... I just have to land a Horn Drill. That's it. One Horn Drill should be enough. Now, I've got the Focus Sash here. I can leave one Sheer Cold, and that is about it. So, Krogel's going to close his eyes. Not that you can really tell, and it's going to be sleeping. Krogel's actually a very, very fast Pokemon, too, outspeeding my opponent. Up. Horn Drill is going to miss. I know I just got to land one Horn Drill, and then I got the Dump. Essentially, it's down to a, a 1v1 here because I'm completely walled. Krogel wakes up. Sheer Cold slides on by, and... The Horn Drill is going to land on the Krogel. And that, my friends, is the third battle. Holy smokes, that was a long, that was a long, long narration. Hope you enjoyed all three of the one hit KO teams. It felt really good doing this team again. It was so much fun. I'll catch you tomorrow for some more videos. Peace out.